This video will talk about how we test the equality of slopes in an analysis of covariance. As an example, consider the two graphs you see here. On the left, we have what we call the homogeneity of regression slopes. We have a covariate x that we're interested in. We're interested in predicting our dependent variable y. What we can see is that we have different groups or different levels in the data set a categorical data set, and we have those values across different values of x. And so what you can see is that the slopes are equal. Although they're at different values of the, uh, of the y-intercept, the slopes are equal. Group 1, group 2, and group 3 all have equal slopes. In contrast, you can look on the right and you can see this is the heterogeneity of regression slopes. The slope values between group 1, 2, and 3 are not equal. And so we can do statistical tests to assess whether or not these slopes are equal across different values. So I want to call your attention back to a data set we used earlier in the class. And this was data on fish measurements from a lake in Finland. And so remember what we had here was the weight of the fish in grams. And we had the length of the fish from the nose to the beginning of the tail. And we measure that in centimeters. As you might remember, we had different measures of the length of the fish. For this one, we're going to use this measurement from the nose to the beginning of the tail. So we might be interested in predicting the weight of the fish using these, uh, this independent variable, length. But we also have another thing that might be of interest. We have the species of fish. So if you remember in one of your lab assignments, we looked at different species and we saw clustering in the data. And so we knew that there were differences in how the different species of fish weighed and, and how long they were based on the data that we looked at. So we're going to use uh, this data set and really look at two different species, bream and pike, to see if we can come up with a good model of their weight. And so if we were to plot the data in R, here's what we would see. This graph shows the length of the fish versus the weight of the fish for the bream and the pike data. Uh, and so you can see the pike data, uh, the, there are actually bigger pike than there are bream uh, in the fish data set. And so you can see a nice linear relationship here between uh, the length of the fish and the weight for both species. And I've provided some summary statistics here. So the big question is, can we make the claim that these two slopes are equal? Uh, so we've got the scatter plot here. We've got some summary statistics of the key variables. Our key interest is really in assessing whether or not the slopes of these two lines are equal. And so if we could draw, we could draw a simple linear regression line through the data. Uh, so what might that look like? So here's that same scatter plot, but I've just added a, a linear regression line through the data. And so you can see it sure looks like the slopes of these lines are equal. Uh, just by visually assessing them. But we need to conduct a statistical test to ensure that. We don't want to be lazy statisticians and just look at a graph and say that we're good. So to conduct a slope test that assesses whether or not those slopes are equal, we can conduct a t-test. So what we have to do is we have to fit two regressions to the two different data sets. That is, we need to take the fish data and then filter it to get the bream data set and then a pike data set, and then do two separate regressions. The values that we need are the slope values. So we'll take the slope value from the bream simple linear regression, represented by beta 1, and the slope value from the pike simple linear regression. Again, that's beta 1. And then we'll take the square root of the standard error of the bream uh, slope squared plus the standard error of the pike slope squared, and that will be our t-statistic. And just like we've done with all the other values and, and t-tests in the past, we can look at this t-statistic, compare it to a critical value of t that we find on the t-table, and then make our assessment of whether or not the slopes are equal. So here's some data on the regression output from the two different uh, fish species. So on the left we have the bream data and on the right we have the pike data. 
So the thing that we're doing, we can look at the data and we can see that they're pretty good models. The R squareds are about 0.91 for the bream, about 0.94 for the pike. And so we can look and see uh, if we look at just the p-values of the regression coefficients, the p-values are quite small. This would indicate that the values of beta 0 and beta 1 are pretty good. We saw that there's a relationship between the weight of the fish and their length. But what about the slopes? Now if we look at the slopes, we can see that the slope for the bream is 54.1 and the slope for the pike is 53.19. And so we might think, well, those values are close enough. We might assume that those slopes are equal. So we could run the t-test to assess whether or not these are equal. So we'll do that by hand in a calculation later. But you could also do this in R. So in R, you can compare the model that includes an interaction term with one that doesn't. Now, adding that interaction term in the model is going to assess whether or not that covariate that you add, in our case weight, adds to the model. And so what we can do then is create a full model that has the effective fish length on weight depending on species. And remember, that's the definition of the interaction and how we might do that, say, in a two-way analysis of variance. And then we might have a restricted model or a reduced model where there is no interaction. And the way we might write this in R is we'll use the ANOVA function and we'll say model full, model reduced, and then it will run that test to compare whether or not uh, the slopes are equal. So this idea of kind of running a full and reduced model will tell you whether or not the slopes are equal to, to run the analysis of covariance. So you can also perform this t-test by hand uh, if you had the values for the slopes and you had the values for the standard error. In this case, whether doing it by hand or doing it in R, you're going to be able to assess whether or not the slopes are equal and whether or not you meet the assumptions of the analysis of covariance.